Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I know I am. Unfortunately, my GoPro battery is about to die, so this video might be moving a lot quicker than I usually do. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about all the reasons why the Ford F-150 Raptor, or rather all the things that the Ford F-150 Raptor does better than the TRX. And by no means am I saying that the Raptor is a better truck than the TRX, but there are some things that I've noticed that the TRX doesn't do as great as the Raptor. And in today's video, we are gonna run through all 10 of those. And so number one on my list of things that the Ford Raptor does better than the TRX is if you go with the blue interior accent package, I think these blue Recaro seats are significantly better than the seats offered in the TRX. And I hope that some someday in the future ram offers seats this good by no means are the seats in the trx bad but something about these seats has just always worked for me they're sporty they're very comfortable they grip you really well around corners the raptor does have a good amount of body roll like all trucks and so i think these seats do a great job of offering a little bit of extra pop and flair in the interior that sets the raptor apart from the regular trucks and the price on these seats is really great because for the price that you get the seats, you also get the carbon fiber package blended in. And so for $2,000, it's a really, really great option. Comparing it to the TRX over here, these seats are really great. But again, these feel very similar to the Ram 1500 limited seats with no real added bolstering, but just a little bit of red stitching if you got that package and a little bit of Alcantara and obviously embroidery that reminds you that this is a TRX. But the blue interior accent package on the Ford definitely makes it pop a lot more, which is why I think that is something Ford does better. Next up on my list of things that the Raptor does better than the Ram TRX is going to be the price. I think either way you look at it, the base Ford Raptor versus the base TRX is set apart by about $15,000, $16,000. And even on the top end, this is a fully loaded Ford Raptor that had a $75,000 MSRP, whereas a fully loaded Ram TRX is gonna run you somewhere around $91,000, $92,000. You can actually equip it almost up to $97,000 if you go with some of the added Mopar accessories. So if you're on the market for a value added truck, I still think the Raptor offers tremendous amounts of performance and capability at a really, really good price. Number three on my list of things that the Ford Raptor does better than the Ram TRX is definitely going to be miles per gallon. And I totally understand. There's a lot of people that complain about the Raptor mileage. Wait till you get a TRX. And I don't drive that much where mileage really is a concern for me right now, especially given the pandemic. But it is really cool that I was consistently getting 16 to 17 miles in the Raptor, whereas I can already tell you I'm gonna be around 10 to 12 with the TRX. And so the Raptor definitely has a little bit more fuel efficiency because it has a turbocharged V6 as long as you are looking for the eco without the boost. Because if you are looking for the boost portion of the eco boost, then the Raptor also will probably have a little bit less miles per gallon to offer. Next up on my list of things that the Ford Raptor does better than the TRX has to do with the bed step. So on the TRX, you get the bed step in the back where you pretty much just kick this out and you get this step. It's functional, it's usable, but again, I think it's just a little bit smaller. Whereas if you compare it to the Raptor, my truck doesn't have it, but the Raptor comes with a full step that extends out of the tailgate and as well as a better handle that make it a little bit easier to access the bed. I think that's something that Ford has done a little bit better than all manufacturers for quite some time now. Next up on my list of things that the Ford Raptor does better than the TRX is going to be the option of independent rear wheel drive. And what that means is if you want to get a little bit wild with it, you can put it so the front wheels don't have power going to them and you're just in rear wheel drive and you can shut traction control off if you want to kick around the rear end and have a little bit more fun with it. The TRX on the other hand doesn't have that as an option and ultimately what you get is an all time all wheel drive. And trust me, the Hellcat motor has no problem letting this truck lose traction. Full throttle is an experience to be had, but it still would have been nice if there was a rear wheel drive option just so you can have a little bit more free spirited driving. Another thing that I think that the Raptor does a little bit better than the TRX is the upfitter switches. You get six upfitter switches in the Ford Raptor and I love the placement and the style. These toggle switches are just so much fun. I think the experience is a little bit better. Whereas in the TRX, you end up getting the aux switches as four push buttons and it's not as kind of toggle switchy and cool looking. Number eight on my list of things that the TRX is a little bit shy on compared to the Raptor is the paddle shifters. As you guys can see, these are quality paddle shifters, but the break in the middle kind of takes away from the performance experience. Whereas in the Raptor, as you guys can see here, this is a much more solid paddle. Anywhere the wheel is turned, you don't have any issues of missing where the paddle shift is. I just think this layout is a little bit better and a little bit more convenient with the solid paddle as opposed to the one in the TRX with the brake. The fit and finish of this magnesium paddle also is a little bit more upscale than the ones inside of the TRX. And so number nine on my list of things that the Ford Raptor does better than the TRX is going to be braking. And what I mean by that, and this is going to be a tough one to explain, I think the TRX has great brakes. 
and equally comparable brakes to the Ford F-150 Raptor. But the fact is, is the Raptor being an aluminum body and a slightly lighter truck, it's about five, 600 pounds lighter than the Ram TRX. And so about an eight to 10% weight savings with the exact same brakes results in a slightly less capable braking experience when you're driving the TRX as opposed to the Ford F-150 Raptor. And so I kind of wish that Ram offered a slightly better braking option or from the factory had a little bit better braking capability to stop this big monster. And last on my list of things that I think the Ford F-150 Raptor does a little bit better than the Ram TRX is going to be turning radius. I've only been driving the TRX around for a little bit of time now and I've obviously owned the Raptor for two years. I have noticed that when you're turning into parking spaces, you're trying to fit into tight corners, the TRX does have a slightly wider turning radius. And I think that has to do with the wider track as well as the bigger axles. It's something I think you have to expect in a bigger truck, but I did immediately notice a big disparity in how tight the Raptor turns compared to the Ram TRX. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, I have a limited amount of time and very little battery left in the GoPro. So this is probably as fast as I could have moved through this list. Hopefully this video comes out somewhat watchable and I look excited and forward to sharing with everybody the experience of owning a Ram TRX. And so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you have not already, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. There's a lot of cool content already on the channel, so definitely take a second to run through the videos and check out if there's something that you might be interested in. And so as always, until the very next video, I will see you all in the comment section below.